The Lion Song, Episode 3, The Riviation. Okay, let's click start. Vienna Central Station. Uh, I think this is a train, my train. Yeah, this is my train. You're drunk. Yeah. Real drunk. Oh, wow. What is it? What's your point? We've been drunk for hours. Do you see? Do you notice? Here now, listen. We're, we're seeing our friend Theodore off. He's been saying goodbye since. Mm, what's today? He's not going anywhere unless he boards his train. Would you like some help with the sap, sir? Let me be. I'm perfectly capable of climbing a couple of stairs. Bye, jumps. My chumps. Oh, look at get, get it. I, is the train moving? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Ta da! Would you like to take your suitcase with you, sir? Very well. If you insist. All aboard. All aboard for Wiener and. Nustad, Nustad, Wiener Nustad, Wiener Nustad. Close the rest of them. Okay, we just don't watch. Okay. Earlier that afternoon. Excuse me, I'm looking for a, a radius. <clears throat> I'm sh I am not sure I understand, madam. The mathematician circle. Oh, I'm working on this theory of maintaining. And what would a young woman like you want with such a august group of gentlemen? I'm gonna speak to the professor. I have a message from the university. I'm a mathematician, mofo. What? Women can't do math? My theory is about. Nah. A woman doing math? You got a calculator. Are you indeed. And I am Archduke Franz Bernadotte. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Right, math does suck, so congrats to anyone who can do it efficiently. Efficiently. I must see Professor Zal here. He is expecting me. He is expecting you here? No? Whilst the radius is in Seishu? No, 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 no. I doubt that very much. But, madame, this is a cafe. There are patrons lining up behind you to eat. Mm. In that case, I would like to eat. Please show me to a table. Certainly. If you will step aside, I will see you to these people who well, you have been waiting so patiently then I will see to you how she gonna get seated before me I was first mm.
A door was securely signed. Vet laboratories. The radius meeting is in there. Can I not go in there? Okay, the waiter wasn't there, so that was the chance. No one solved it this week. Have you forgotten? Do you, um, Madame, you cannot be here. This is a private gathering. Um, let's see. I am here at Professor Salvia's invitation. I have correspondent words. I am here with Professor Salvia's invitation. You must be mistaken. These are mathematicians. As am I. Please announce me. My name is Resnia. Well, I, I can't say that. Oh, she got them sexism issues. Girl, I feel you. Everybody be thinking it's a man drawing my shit, so. Once you understand that, the solution is child's play. <clears throat> Yes, we have dined. You know better than. Resnia? I don't recall. Professor Sahir, I am a mathematician like you. I wrote to you regarding then recent proof about Helbert's third problem. There is some mistake. Women have no minds. This is a private discussion of higher mathematics than basic mathematics. My letter, name dropping, young woman is not going to get you anywhere. Oh snap. I like how this one just smoked up. That'd be me. That is me. And this one's sleep. How can he help solve a problem if he's sleep? Anywho. Mathematics is complex. Subjects entirely unsuitable for a woman. I just need to read for a second. This is how my daddy be talking to me, y'all. For all you guys out there with daddy issues, just take a deep breath with me right now. It's all right. Your brains are domestic, not logical. I pack wisdom. Please escort this woman out, reader. I tell you, third chapter in, and um, my feelings is hurt. And see that we are not interrupted a dang. Is this fine young gentleman right here going to stand up for me, please? Because I need somebody to stand up for me. And I think he's going to be the one. There. You see? You're dumb. You're a woman. You must be. Do you want to kiss me, pardon? Please leave at once. Mathematician? Like me. Ha! Dang. Sexism as well. Oh, dang. And then it made sure he shakes his head in disdain. Little girl, I'm Nicole. I just moved into uh, the suit on the fourth floor. What is your name? Emma. Rechnidiek. I live behind that door you're, you're blocking. My parents are in France. I hate my governess, Frau Schmoll. That's all. There is to know about me. (laughs) 
I'm sure that's not, uh, there's not, I'm sure that isn't all there is to know about you. Well, I'm nine and my parents are always gone. My father travels all the time for work and my mother goes with me because she don't trust him by himself. Why don't you go too? They say I'm not too strong enough and I need to keep up with my studies. Nicole, it's time for your music lesson. I need to go before Froshmore finds me. It was very nice meeting you. I am just glad that you will be my friend. Did a melody rock. The Lion Song, Episode B Eripiation. My stool is stage. My apartment, my thoughts. You know what she should have did? Like every smart woman in that day that wanted to humdrum with the men, she should have dressed up like a man. Hat and all. And um, infiltrated the group. All right. Oh my God, Natsu, is this how you see music in your mind when you're asleep? A state of change can be maintained. I'm sure of it. But how can I prove it? How do you see your music? Ugh. Mathematician like me. Uh, that's how I be. Yes, I'm just a woman, but I have new ideas. No one will listen. No one cares. No one cares because you're a chick girl, so. Make yourself Jason Freud, Frost the Third, Lieutenant something, and get it published. And, you know, turn into a man, and that's how you do it. Back in them days. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Wardrobe. Ooh, is this one gonna change? Her clothes. My clothes take up only one side. Oh, so she's single. The Hello, Emma. What this is? Storstock. Storstock. <laughs> the radius was supposed to help me, but I didn't even get to state my problem. Been doing sausages. I'm upset. Black bar guy. Ooh, that cannot feel good. Wiping the chalkboard with your hand. Girl, you don't have a rag right there or nothing, girl? I'm just saying. It's the beginning of the group. I know it is. It has to be a solution. Rock roll. Am I going to find thing in this one? Oh, knock, knock. Do you have a peephole? I hope she does. You might want to get a bone or something to throw in there. Jess? Package for Emma? That's me. Thank you. From the hospital? Hospital? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
I need that glass of wine for the bolts. Bolts. Because then we, we know some sad in a box. It's all sad. A letter. Dear Feng Shui's Wolfies, we regret to inform you that your father, Jan Rosens, the Comtesse Tuberculosis Eriquari Moni, early Friday morning. As you are aware, his illness was not responding well to treatment, and this is inevitable outcome. We want to assure you that he passed peacefully in his sleep. And just the previous evening, his thoughts were of you. We know you share a belief that he has gone to a better place. But his suffering is plainly exceeding. As you know, your father requested clothing and his personal effects to be kept for you. We have therefore included the zoom in Z box. You have our sincerest condolences for your loss. In sympathy, John Klinger, the youth physician, Planetorium, Salzburg, Australia. It's all your fault, Peppy, for making me smart and giving me hope in the world when you shouldn't have. You raised me to believe in it. Yep, that's the word. That is the worst. Can't be a free thinker in this world. No, don't be a free thinking woman. No, this is how you gonna live. You got to conform. Only way you gonna be happy. You believe in me, but now that you are gone, what good is it if no one else does? <laughs> that was later. Did I, did I register? Oh, okay. I need to put his things away. I was in the sky. Your light was in the sky. The next morning. Hmm. I can't make any headway. It's no use. I have to get to the library. I'm late already. Maybe I could see more clearly if I wasn't drowning in memory. Girl, you must mourn. Papa? Uh oh, it's probably like half. Are we going to a new place? Work at the library? Get a girl. Door opening. Vienna University Library. Library. Chalk on. This could indeed be the correct beginning. But how to continue? How can I observe functions of change? Maybe I have to reserve my approach. Maybe I overlook something. Some aspect that's missing. No, yet. Let's see how. I'm retaining my poison making choice. 
I was so, it was so exciting. Pirates and soldiers and mountains climb us. Your book is overdue, young man. That would be two Cronin. Sorry. Thank you. Good day. He didn't want to talk to him. Dang. Hmm. A small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to the hospital. Uh, what what a transition. What a... When his grandmother came to see how he was, a nurse said, no change yet. Why can't I see it? A state of change. That's like always ended near a full sea train with gray sand and no a cool pretzel fresh out of the oven. Let's 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 go with that one. It's a fitting image. Excuse me? Is this a good book on gardening? My roses are being difficult. Hmm. The Art of Formal Gardening by Carl Dorn. Yes, madam. Professor Dorn is noted by Plotney. Oh, I didn't know that was still her dialogue. Oh my gosh, I would have kept her voice. Hi. Nothing I try is correct. I just don't know how to continue. Continue? Continue. I'm almost done with work for today. Maybe I should get something to eat and just try again tomorrow. I would agree, because it's hard to think on a full stomach because you usually be tired. I work better when I'm starving and um, up late and just have some wonderful music by some of my favorite DJs like Natsu Fuji. And Rosie K and Neku. But I'm just saying. Yes. Some food from the market should change things. Should change things. Do you have somebody covering you? He's reading a physics book. New library. Okay, so a woman can work in a library and read. But she can't be a math teacher. Hmm, riddle me this. 